first and foremost uh, the body is supposed to be five elemental so we've got water air fire earth all these are tangible things there is this one element which is not tangible ether okay now what is ether is uh, very speculative certain people say it is space now, what is space okay we know that even the sky is illusional there is really no sky so when we say space what is space according to the masters we believe that ether is the divine element when we came out from the great fire as a spark the first element that we possessed was ether so a lot of masters consider ether to be divinity it is unmeasurable it is non tangible so the very word ether could mean anything but according to masters it means the divine spark the divine element so the first thing that came forth in our personality in our individuality was ether for me ether is divine silence everything comes forth from divine silence okay when we talk about karma we have karma of body that is action we have karma of word and we have karma of thought that is why uh, prophet zarathustra has said good thoughts good words good deeds everything originates from good thoughts that is thought okay thought is controlled by the element of ether when we are in our day to day lives going about we don't realize that everything is initi initiated first with the thought it is through thought that our emotions start and it is through emotions that action follows karma originates from the thought first if you are in a state of silence if you are in a state of silence you are taking care of the primordial source of all duality all grief because from thought comes emotion from emotion comes words from words come deeds even if we act impulsively it is because we have not thought and acted so once again you go back to thought okay when you are in a state of silence you are in your primordial state of divinity when you are in a state of noise you are furthest away from your state of divinity that is why the state of silence is harped upon by every master every religious text will say sit down meditate be calm you know be quiet because when you go back to the state of quietness you are in actually your original state from where you came forth from the great fire when they talk about silence what is the meaning of silence it does not mean do not communicate do not talk silence means basically come from a state of centeredness it does not mean no thought it means calm thought it does not mean that you know what you do not talk it means you are in control of what you are talking if the state of silence is in disharmony your all the other four elements within you will be in disharmony if your state of silence is in your control you are actually in control of not only how you behave and how you thought uh, how you think and how you act but you are actually getting in control of your other four elements within you the masters have reached such a state of silence 
that they are in control of other people's five elements also. They are in control of the five elements in the cosmos. But it all originates from divine silence. It does not mean you start behaving dumb and daft. It only means you are operating from such a calm state that whatever you think, whatever you speak, whatever you feel originates from your deep roots of providence. We are made of three bodies, the physical, then the astral. Astral is emotional and then the causal. Causal, the very word causal itself implies cause. The very word causal implies cause and effect. So you've got the physical body, all your karma related with your physical issues. In the end, sickness, blah, comes to the physical body. All your karma related with your emotional issues are in the astral body. And all your karma related with your thought is contained in the causal body. But as everything starts from thought, the causal body contains all the karmas of all the lifetimes within it. When you start going into the state of silence, you start healing that causal body because you've gone beyond cause and effect. You've gone to the genesis of your creation, which is divine silence. When you start living in that divine silence, you start healing the causal body. When the causal body starts getting healed, slowly the astral body starts getting healed and then the physical body. That is why Sufis would, if you were to go to a dargah, they would, you know, clean you up with a peacock feather because they could see what is contained in your causal body and they are cleansing your causal body because illness first comes into the causal body, permeates into the astral and then gets attached to the physical. When you are in a state of silence, when you are in a state of calmness, your causal body is getting healed. You can even cleanse your karma via meditation. Ma Avatar Babaji's Kriya Yoga basically is based on that. That why go through lifetimes of karma when you can sit down, meditate, breathe and cleanse your karma sitting down quietly. Why? Because you are taking divine silence and then doing all your cleansing. So you don't have to go through the cleansing of karma physically, emotionally. You can do it via silence. That is why silence is so important. It is like you being in a jungle and night sets in. There are animals who are going to come for the midnight snack. What do you do? You quietly find a place and sit down. But what most of us will do is, we'll remove our torches and start flashing around. Are there animals around? <laughs> that is going to attract the animals to you. So when you get agitated, all states of agitated agitation in your causal body gets triggered. Okay, once they get triggered, that means your whatever lena dena karmically has got triggered. But when you are silent, you are not allowing the trigger point to take place you are removing it quietly. That is why silence is so important. That is why ether, according to me, is the divine spark. You cannot measure it, you cannot touch it, you can only assume it. Even in a painting, what could be space for me may not be space for you. So it is always going to be debatable the state of space. In a relationship, I could feel you are not giving me space. And you would think, I'm only giving you space. Now, who's going to decide that? So space is not that. Space is divine silence.